Welcome to the Fat and Unfiltered Podcast, where we fill your bellies up. And leave you with some juice. Welcome, welcome back, back, baby love. So welcome back, guys. All right, if you are new to our channel, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby loves. I'm Deshaun. Talk today. And I'm saving on Miss Kitty. Yeah. We back in this thing. With y'all. another one. And y'all can already see what we got. What a burger! <laughs> In this thing, yes. I don't know why I said that like good burger. Yeah, she. Yeah, but they just wanted to be extra, extra today. Just a little yeah. extra today. That's all right though. Yeah, I'm on, still on a little high from you know work. I won my gingerbread competition. That's because <laughs> they did all their work and did Hoosville. And and let's just take another note that she was at work and not mm. doing work. Got a whole hour mm. off work to build a gingerbread house. At work. Leave a comment if that sounds like a haters in the room. But yes, it wasn't even cute. It- It wasn't even cute. It wasn't even cute. Yeah, we might have to it put was, a picture. It of wasn't. Uh, uh, nah, we might have to put a picture in this one so you guys can see. We don't mess with they side of town. We don't. We don't. We the Grinch on my but, side of town. Look, but I gave credit where credit. I mean, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. It was a high. I mean, theirs was <laughs> cute too. Their roof was just sliding off. I mean, we can't help that. But anywho, okay, so if it isn't about yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I'll cut you off, sis, with your shady. Go, go ahead. Key, key, key. Oh, gosh. I am so ready for this one, but I am in a great mood. How are you doing? Yes, I'm in a good mood, too. Tis I the am. season. Tis the freaking season. Yes. Like, for a happy holidays, guys. It's getting out. We're getting close to a new year. I, I think that energy of a new year is on us. It is, so and I'm just excited for 2020 because... Fat and Unfiltered podcast is doing big things in 2020. If you didn't know, we're on Spotify. On Spotify. I don't know what iTunes got going on, y'all. Yes. I wish I had the. Oh, the yeah, I know. And uh-huh. in, in the podcast. I don't know what's going on with iTunes, y'all. We are still in review. I'm checking it every day, literally every day, and we just we just there. But we in review, and it's gonna happen. But Spotify, we in that thing. We in that thing. You know, fat and unfiltered. I'm but listening. hey, look, okay, y'all. Sorry, we're a little extra. But we're going to jump right on into this. We're not sure if a lot of you guys know what a water burger is. But yeah. well, what do you have, sis? If they're outside of Texas, they yeah. probably don't. Mm-hmm. But I have some chicken bites, y'all. And I have some onion rings. You know, mm-hmm. regular degla with some ranch. Love. You know she I like their chicken bite bites. Yeah, they really good. I've never even had their chicken bites. But yeah. I have. Y'all know my ass. Love me some beef. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I got me some french fries. So I got me a double burger with some cheese, no tomatoes. But they put tomatoes on, so I was mad. I took them off because I don't like tomato juice. And then no pickles. And then I didn't give me no onions, water burger. But it's neither here. To the one there. who say she ready to eat, still sitting over there talking to water burger. This <laughs> water burger. Messed up. <laughs> and Messed she was real ethnic right then. Mm-hmm. Water burger. Water burger. Did you know how when you order something, you ready to bite into it yeah, the you way been you allergic. ordered? I could have. Yeah. But anywho, we're gonna get into this grace and get into it. Oh, and it's my time. I remember. God, thank you for blessing us with for this with this day, blessing us with our health and our strength. Bless this bless the hands that touched this food and made it, and bless our subscribers. And bless the 300 people that continue to come in, subscribe, and the extra 700 more you got ready for us, God. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, for real. I had to claim that for us real quick, honey. Hey. Because that's 700 more. That's that 1K. That's that monetization. How are we trying to get there? Mm. 
But even though we not monetized, I do want to say that we we appreciate like this is this is actually fun to us. Yeah, we mm-hmm. enjoy sitting down here talking to y'all and actually seeing the people that continue to support when we post the video. I love seeing those comments that pop up real quick. Gang, gang, gang. I love it. I love it too. I do, I do, I do. Who, who? Wish we would have did it sooner. Right. Okay, y'all. Um, if y'all don't know nothing about Waterburg, Waterburg. Oh, look, that was Waterburg. They burgers fall apart, so I, but they be good. Huh? But the burgers be legit, y'all. Mm-hmm. I just, especially after a drunk night. Mm. That's what Waterburg really hit. I had to let y'all down. I I didn't want no bread today. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I let sis get you. I got you. I don't But these bites are good. I don't. You missing it? <laughs> mm. And I got sweet tea, y'all. We didn't tell y'all what we had mm. in my cup. <laughs> well, no reason. I don't say man because I don't be liking drinks. <laughs> I'm an Everfresh girl, but today Everfresh is inside my water burger cup. <laughs> oh, honestly, I thought it had some lick in it, to be honest. Uh, mm-mm, no, mm-mm. no lick today. The only time y'all will probably ever catch me really with a drink, because I was thinking about that yesterday. I, I'm always talking about I drink, and they probably be like, she ain't never drink. Because I don't eat and drink. So it would be one of those days me and her are on here, and we are just really just vibing out with like something very light. Okay. I don't like the way look a taste with actual food. I don't, I don't. Okay, and she don't do the sweet drinks. Mm. That do y'all stomach like, aches. I love ranch with my onion rings, y'all. I don't know. It's weird, but I love it. Mm-hmm. How y'all day been? Leave that in the comments. Y'all yeah, might have been winning a Christmas party instead of a summer Christmas. Mm, yeah. What yeah, do y'all do with y'all job for Christmas? If some of y'all follow me on Snapchat or us, you see I job be lit. I really do. I can't say that. Festivities, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my you only problem. The, yeah, you get to fall like a kid again. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to say, cuz though, AB, you know about Waterburger Girl. <laughs> she done did her a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say, too, what I was about to say, I ain't seen none of the people we challenged on that chicken, on that chicken wing challenge, the eight wings in eight minutes. I ain't seen no videos, y'all. And I thought. Mm, and the guy that's married um, all of them replied yeah he said that one was supposed to be going up but I did go to his page and I didn't see one well, but I've been I, all y'all pages I got us bailed <laughs> okay I've been waiting <laughs> what's going on hmm. you ain't got no chicken in your cities <laughs> look look at me being petty can they not be Sadie huh? uh, cause you won that one so uh, I'm gonna give it okay. to see that was Great sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Why is she making me want this burger, y'all? Cool. And it yeah. smells so good. I wish I could smell it. Mm-hmm. You know, water burger burgers be. Oh, man. Y'all. Death and dishonor. Mm-hmm. If you ever visit Texas and you've never been here, make sure you go to a water burger and then tell us what y'all think. Now, I will say it's a little expensive for my taste. But I don't like spending spending grocery store meals on some quick, but it's a good splurge every once in a while. If you get the meal, they expensive, but like a regular water burger, mm-hmm. a, 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 a one meat is only five 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 dollars. A one meat, yeah, just a burger. Okay, this burger itself is six by itself. I wanted fries because I wanted for the tape, but I don't drink soda, so I know. It's the meal was nine oh one. The burger and fry was nine twenty six. So I said, "Well, dang, run me up a drink. I'll just get ice." I still did that. That came up to nine thirty seven. Now, mind you, I forgot to tell them to put the cheese on. So if I would have put the cheese on, it was going to be then 
1072. I tried to stay under nine dollars on the burger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because to me, I wasn't expecting your stuff to be close to ten. I was like, I thought the, the chicken, chicken was cheaper. Mm-mm. The chicken, it, everything at Whataburger. Yeah. But I think if you just get the burger, because I used to tell my mom that Whataburger is expensive, but she was like, I, a single meat is just $5. And to me, that's a lot for a single burger. But for see, a if you go to Dairy burger. Queen, Dairy Queen like, is about the same. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's better quality. So I would rather, mm -hmm. and like, look, I'm, yeah, I'm busting up her burger. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. But either way, um, we in this thing with our high. But we made double meats <laughs> for half of that. <laughs> that that's all I want. For half of it. When you know that you can cook it and it can be more left over, you can mm -hmm. even, it, it does do something to you. When you start thinking about that money like that, it's like, man, I can make this the way I want to at home, have left over. How'd y'all like this cooking good. though? Let us know how y'all liking these recipes. You know, I try and tweak some of them a little bit. Did you get your stalker? Oh, I'm fine. Then it's under here. I'm being all kinds of special today. <laughs> this is a big old cup. This is a Rob 44. <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, my cup runneth over. <laughs> Do people outside of Texas like sweet tea? I don't think mm -hmm. a lot of them do. Mm -hmm. I know Texans love sweet tea. Yeah. Outside of Texas, y'all like sweet tea? We we getting all in y'all business today. We didn't ask y'all a whole bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. But we see y'all really be asking them too. Which means y'all are watching the whole video. Girl, oh, shucky duck, quack, quack. Mm hmm. Well, I feel like you're in relations over there. Girl, it's so good. <laughs> I haven't had water in a while, though. Oh, sis, you know what I did today? What you do? <laughs> so, y'all, yesterday's video, we were supposed to talk about love and hip hop. But once we leave here and we get done eating, y'all, like we said, I'll be out. So, I didn't watch Love and Hip Hop. That's why we didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. But guess what I did today? I can't, I can't, I can't say I can't Don't say that. I I, guess what I did today? <laughs> I watched Love and Hip Hop. But I only watched the first, I only got through the first episode okay. and half the other. Okay, I'm okay, okay. But Let's that first think. episode was. Why don't you thank him? You liking the old crew being back, the OGs? I think it's gonna be really good. I'm excited. I'm excited to see Chrissy. That's uh, hey, so you glad yeah. that the OG cast? Is I'm back. excited to see Chrissy along with everybody and see how that's gonna work out. Chrissy and Tahiria. Erica Miller. I see Tahiri isn't in the. I guess she's in a part of the core cast because i didn't see her in the thing so is she, she she in and they can't put everybody on the the you know only why well, she's not part of the core yeah. Then, yeah well no they all are the same equally but they don't use all their faces and the reason why is erica miller they use safari you get what i'm saying you talk about when they bring it on La -da -da -da, whatever they think song yeah mm-hmm Cause you know, you think about it, Erica Miller, she done been with Rich Dollar, she done been with Santana, so they're probably like, okay, we'll link up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, Cause she, I ain't even, I mean, I seen Tahiri, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen a lot of her. Right, right, cause she come more, like, you know, they bring you in with the storyline, so it's, she getting brought in as being back in town, meeting up with him. But you gonna like it though. I like her and Joe together. I think he really loved her. I do too, but like she said, he wasn't ready for her. And so at least she was mm -hmm. truthful with that. Because she did, she's like, I love Joe too. She said, but Joe wasn't ready for no marriage. So I think he's ready now. I just think him, I don't, see, I don't really know. Because I think he really loves Sin too. I, do I think too. he loved both of them. He do. She just young. But he cheated on Sin, that's the reason. But did he? Did he? I, that's I'm, I'm kind of pondering right now because if, well, maybe she don't want to put a business out. I can see Oh, that's how she do put her business out. If y'all go, oh, so she do? Mm -hmm. If you go catch up uh, with the podcast that 
I love New York do. It's mm -hmm. called Br Brunch with Tiffany. She did a whole interview with Sin, and Sin was open like a book. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm talking about as far as like her relationship, like why her and Joe not together, mm -hmm. why she won't get back with him ever. Mm hmm. She did. She opened all the way up. As far as like what she found, she, yeah. she said that, yeah. Yeah, she, she found. said that on the brunch. Like it's not played in the, you know, of course it just started, but. Her story is out there. Like, it, it, like if you keep up with him, like you know he cheated, and she had. And what's she doing? She had. He was met, meeting up with his woman, he was fucking a woman. They were cheating. Yeah, and it was supposed to be like another her woman. They even saying Safari had proposed. This is allegedly in blogger stuff that's out there. Oh, so but America. Like, I think America kind of loved Joe and Sam together. So I think like their storyline, it would have been popping regardless. The people gonna want to know. They're gonna want to see them on a regular basis. Like what they got going on. See, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't invested in them. I knew they wasn't gonna make it. But see, I, I don't yeah. know. I just it people was a, were like on social media. They were uh -huh. always popping. Like because I loved I, when they were yeah. together and doing the videos. No. that was a little too much when they were all on social media yeah. with their business. Yeah. That's the only reason why I could see him not making it as far as like yeah. the age gap, but see, and I think look at this girl how you think. I think the age gap was perfect because I think she needed a mature one and I think he needed a youthful one because he's so serious at times, you know? That you have to have that family. Would you date an older man? Mm-hmm. I knew I would too. I never have but Go I think I would, because older men give you like that balance of mm -hmm. being serious. Mm -hmm. But I think Joe Budden kind of got like that because of situations he's been through, as far as like he's dealt with addiction and then really losing his career and stuff like that, and having to gain it back. So I feel like he had he's in a state of mind where he's trying to keep everything level and cool. He's not trying to be ratchet. He's not trying to be loud. He ain't trying to be all out on the scene so i think that's where he coming from the difference mm -hmm. between that mm -hmm. but i think it was a good one though start it started off good i'm i'm really ready to see how the and since you didn't watch part two all the way through we're gonna wait till you watch that one because i gotta ask you about the situation okay. with chrissy and jim and, and see because you know and andy no not with andy it's the actual situation with chrissy and Jim Jones and they really talk about it. it's already been out in the public like because they Are talk weird to you all the everybody on the shows be weird to me except Juju she's weird to me too she's not weird to me Juju see like I'm trying to get a check I'm trying to let these Aren't she women too pretty for that? The, she too pretty for a show yeah she's very pretty but I do like the fact that she used the platform is because she is a pretty girl she has been linked up all we knew at one point was that's Cameron's girlfriend Cameron's Beyonce, but I like the fact she trying to tell y'all how to get y'all money, go to school, get your, you know, she got investment properties, like, that'd be her storyline, and I said, I guess it's working, because she ain't got kicked off the show yet, because if you too boring, my, you know, Ratchet TV will kick you off. Yeah, I think they gotta, they always have a, uh, it's always a level, head. she's the level headed one in the group, because I feel like all of them kind of have stuff going on. A lot like of, a lot of businesses and stuff, but that's not what they're promoting. That's not their storyline. That just happens to be, I guess. Is that her storyline? That's her storyline. Like a lot. Now I don't them, even remember her from the show. Like I really don't. She, and that's that's what I'm saying. I don't think that she care. She won't never be remembered for rat stuff. But she was Cameron's girl. Cameron pushed her to be on the show, and it was to promote. All her stuff that she had going on. Everybody got businesses, but nobody has started their own. Like, they came off the back of their men on that show. And I think that's the difference of Juju. Juju is the only one that done something without it being off the back of her man because she actually went to school. She actually got her degree. She brought herself up from nothing. But, of course, her life had to have gotten better when she got with Cameron, you know, and it put her in a position to go to school. But I'm just yeah. saying she still decided to do that. None of them. They all benefited from who they with. Yeah. 
But, uh, well, the Yandy, what was Mendeecey doing? Mendeecey, I mean, Mendeecey been a drug boy, like for the longest, and then got in money, and I bet you just invested. Yeah, in but Andy. she was, she was from, um, she what was she? She's a, well, she so was she like was like a man. So she yeah, was like she was a, a manager, right? But she got those relationships through Mendeecey with the guys. You know what I'm saying? Like her dating them, and then him being in the rap game, and him being in the drug game, it introduced her, and I bet you she's just like, well, baby, I can. I can manage you, and then you know, and then go from there. I want. I'm have to do a little investigation about that. And see, because she's about like Yandy's about the only one. It's gone. I rolled my whole eyes. With I don't know why everything. you didn't even taste some. That was a lot of tea. Oh no, I didn't. I don't. Oh. Mm -hmm. But yeah, who it's do I actually good. like from the show? I think I kind of like Yandy. Mm -hmm. She she kind of gets a bad rep. She's she's a little fake. No, I like Andy too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, love Remy. Remy A one. I don't mm -hmm. even got who has something bad to say about Remy. No, that I'm. Mm -mm. Her and Papoose, that whole black love, like the whole vibe. Watching Papoose trying to speak some life into Joe Budden about black family and supporting your queen and stuff like that. Like I love that part. I think that's genuinely just him at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody questions that. No, I don't think that's why they ain't had no problems. What you think about Rich Dollars? I like Rich because Rich is who Rich is. And I feel like anybody that fuck with him, y'all knew who he is. So, Sweezo. And I hate that they be giving him, uh, trying to give him a bad rep. Because my thing is, is he been who he been since the beginning? Just like if we, I know we bouncing off of this one, but... Just Stevie J. I like Stevie J because Stevie J has Stevie been who Stevie J Sleazy. was gonna be. <laughs> and that's the that's the truth. I have think, to let people be who they want to be. I think that's where I'll be going back and forth when I watch this. Of course, y'all, we know this is all per entertainment and my love. Mm, I love Ratchet TV. I just love seeing sometimes the spectacle, the clowns. Like it's almost be like a you really sold your soul this episode for. And that I really don't even watch TV like that. And I'm watching gone. it just so we can talk about. And that's so why y'all. The... <laughs> and that's probably why the scene like we don't agree on, like, cause I'm going way back from the stuff from them, which I'm so well, happy. Yeah, I used to watch all. Yeah. of them. I mean, I watched all of them. Um, just I just stopped watching it because yeah. Yeah, you stop. Yeah, yeah, I never stopped. Okay. So it was like every little crib, sir. So when you watch part two of it. We're going to have to talk about the Chrissy and Jim Jones situation that happened because ain't no way in T world. To love and hip hop of Miami about to come out and they've been trash ass for the last three years. But guess who they done brought on? Jocelyna got her spot back. She just going to be on Miami now. Snoring mm -hmm. coke on Miami yeah. now. Well, you know, she done got somebody. her life together. She has. Her social media, she's got her life together. We shall see on Love and Hip Hop we, Miami if she's got her life together. She had Baby Bella. That she had Baby wanted. Bella when she was. Uh -huh. Oh, she had had Baby Bella. Yes, yeah, she had. Not when she was coked out in that studio session. She had not. She had had it when. when uh, uh I'm pretty sure. She, I'm telling you, she had. Okay. We gonna have. Yeah, we gonna. Y'all, if y'all know, put in the comments. I'm gonna have to research because I remember she's that. She's been coked out since she's had Baby Bella, and on social media, she has. Mm -mm, Her so. and Stevie J have been on social media. Well, I know. She um, had Bella when she was on one of the reality shows going off. Um, she, yes, I just, she and they said she her. was high. She could have said that. Would, but she was coked out then. She hadn't had it. We're going to do our <laughs> research, y'all. And if y'all know. On the, on the yeah. show, when they put her out, they said she was coked out then. And they she had said. Had, so, I mean, she was we, acting crazy. She, but we don't even know if she was coked out in the studio. We wasn't her. Well, we know she was heavily <laughs> under the influence in the studio. Well, she was the under studio. the influence when they put her out, too. It's yeah. really actual shit. Ratchet TV, if you think about it. And what really made, what really, I look at it, it always, um, y'all might not agree, but a lot of stuff always shines a negative light on black people. I do not like that. I don't um, like the stuff. The, the stigma, stigma that they put on black no. women and black men and stuff like I don't I don't feel it and I don't like how they just throw certain stuff out at you and just make you just you gotta oh, watch now that. I agree with you they do push a lot of they, agendas they do and I'm just yeah I agree I, I think agree. they do everywhere now now 
Because you know I'm a Netflix girl. She is now. That's the thing. So that's so. why I really... I don't... She know more about TV because I watch Netflix. And then she talk about a Netflix show, and then I'm gonna have to go watch it to go because I wouldn't know. Mm -mm. So that's maybe where when she we I talk about a Netflix. So yeah, she well, what what's movie. good on Netflix then? Because I was just trying to watch something on that. That's how I got see, on Sugar Rush. I bet if I t and nailed it. How we love we all. Oh, I seen. I was like, "Girl, yeah." You know how last I was like, "Girl, you watch Sugar Rush?" She said, "Yeah," and she's like, "You watch Net?" Girl, we watch all of it. But what is a good show though? Because like, people was at, and I'm like, I have no idea. See, I don't know if you're gonna like it, but I just got done with this season oh. called B Wars. It's about um, what is that about? It's about like a the, a plague. Oh, the virus okay. goes goes out and it changes people into like this vampire. Yeah. Oh, so she like those kind of movies. I do. I kind of okay. like sci-fi. Sci-fi. Um, okay. I think you will kind of like Chambers. Chambers is kind of about um, it's kind of like voodoo, black magic, kind of some sort of. Is she trying to say I'm into black magic? No, but it, it's a good storyline. <laughs> <Yeah. line. laughs> See, hey, have you ever watched Rain? Because yes. that sounds like the uh, movie you sent. Rain was, and uh, I watched that fog. night. Did you watch The oh, Fall? I didn't watch The Fall. Okay. okay. Well, if you watch so, Rain. I liked Rain. Go watch Fall because okay. you'll like it too. And to me, then, it's better. Than the other one. You, the mm -hmm. first one you To me, it's, it's a little bit more action. You will definitely like okay. Fall. Okay. Right? Oh, and there. The Blacklist. You Blacklist. It's about like a, a, a fugitive. Uh, America's Most Wanted. Um killer serial killer it helps the fbi a special task girl force. you know that sound like me i yeah. feel like she's oh supposed yeah to i don't come. even know why i haven't told you that it seemed like she should have gave uh, a story time on that oh. oh yeah that was good well maybe well a lot of people may not know about blacklist so maybe yeah. i think you will she uh. will love if you know that yeah. she will love between like my this. i go from one spectrum to the next ratchet tv and killing shows and I'm intrigued with the mind. I just don't understand how people kill people and can get up and go like they day is just so, so normal. So did you watch Dexter? I could not get into Dexter. I could not. I watched two episodes of Dexter and it felt so fake to me. She just. I know. I'm going to have to try it again. I'm going to have to try it again. Girl, I you loved watched it. It seems watched so. it while it was on and then watched it when it came out on Netflix. It just seemed so fake. Hey, like, yeah, okay. like, I don't like seeing stuff when I, who stab you, and then blood just gush all out like jello. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, we going to get it together, y'all. We going to get it. We going to have topics. We love it. Hip hop. We going to bring out some Netflix. She going to make me keep watching. I can tell she don't. <laughs> and then she gonna be judging all of them. I, I, like <laughs> I know they gonna be like this bitch is judgmental. Uh uh, <laughs> nah, but no, nah. she's really not. She just gonna give you what they giving us on that screen. This bitch said she was juggling. It was coked out after Baby Bella. She ain't trying to hear Baby Girl, Bella. I'm saying. pretty. I'm pretty. <laughs> but when I tell you, she finna go search this. And let me know. Look, you see her face? She finna let me know if she was coked out or not. Because she is Team Jocelyn. I just want Jocelyn to get her ish together. Girl, because when she seen, y'all, when she seen her on the TV, she was like, oh. I was, was excited. excited. Because you, you know what it comes down to is. I feel you. Yeah, know. and then it's like. It's like this is where she was made from. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she literally. I do believe Stevie J really pulled her up out the gutter yeah. from wherever she was. So this is what made her who she is. So to take that away, I just, because, God forgive me, Jocelyn ain't going to make it in the, the music business. She's it's, not. It's, she just not. She's not, she's she's not, she's not she's going not. to. It's just not going to happen. And I'm not here to kill a dream, but I feel like that ain't the dream. Like, that ain't what no, she's supposed to her destiny. So I think something else is, and it could be an actress, you know, or some. But I feel like I'm excited that she's back because I feel like Miami is more her speed because that's where she, you know, from mm -hmm. pretty much. So just let her be great. Like I pray she out for drugs. I pray her and her new dude get married. She got a new dude. 
That's what I'm saying. Her life is all the way Look together. And you know, Stevie J, when he got married with Faith, he calmed down a lot. Oh, yeah, and then now Jocelyn and Stevie J, they all actually co-parent and hang out and take trips together. So I just feel See, like... the last thing that I seen from them was... Her acting Faith, Yes, Faith, she had posted something about Stevie J sending her a mm -hmm. message or something and faith had got mad and put it on her instagram and put a message to her on the instagram that's the last thing that i remember from them so maybe she has got yeah. her life together because clearly i'm not all the way caught up i don't girl, know how long ago she, that was girl, um, they are all together girl jocelyn got a whole fitness uh like a fitness line Look where like body days are like 29 I think that's her calling because the health is, is yeah, oh, she yeah, is she faithfully, no matter where her and Bella be on the world, she's working out. And she show like how she works out with Bella. All right, Josh. And I'm like, we gonna see. You know, we gonna, we gonna see. Check, yeah, I see what you got going on. That's gonna be after the new year because it don't come on yeah. until January 6th. But love and hip hop New York, we on y'all next. What y'all think? My prediction is. Jocelyn gonna get on that show and show her ass, and I we putting it down today. <laughs> and she, cause she, I, I, I really, I'm all for women empowerment. I really want her to win too. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you really want to win, she would just go with the fitness and stuff. She gonna get on that show and she gonna act the ass. And I feel like Stevie J somewhere, he gonna, he gonna be in her. Yeah, they probably gonna be in. I think they are actually working together, like working in this thing together. I wouldn't be surprised if his influence wasn't the reason why she got, she got on Miami. Miami, like for real. I think that's just a low key behind the scene team because yeah. it's like, hey, so? mm -hmm. but she gonna show her ass because it's just jaws. Oh, yeah, but she gonna show out. I don't. I hope not in the ways we've seen because I I think you can't take that uh fight out of her. Like she would no. be ready to knock her ish head off. Yeah, I that ain't gonna change. I yeah, I'm gonna change. We, okay, we're we're hopeful on Fat and Unfiltered podcast, but we're divided. <laughs> so I want y'all to remember, she is team. She not gonna be the same. <laughs> I am team. When that big get in front of the camera, it might be one, two, three episodes. Yeah, but they oh. but she gotta put on a show because she gotta solidify mm -mm. her spot. She trying to get signed back on for next season. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. this ain't you, paycheck. If you in a different, she going to show her ass. She going to do, it's, it's going to be something. No, and I'm agreeing with that yeah. because she is solidified. She want her spot next year already. I'm talking, well, we been talking about she done grow. Then well, she no, should be the same. She done grow, but you got to realize, too, a lot of them do a lot. They sell their souls for the money to get to where she is. Like, And that don't even be how they be in real life. But she going to act as, I just hope she done grew as far as. Not calling everybody names like when she used to see, uh, what was her day? Stevie yeah. J, baby mama. Hey, Molly, Molly. Hey, Molly. Molly. <laughs> Molly today. Y'all, y'all know she funny. <laughs> okay, I could go all the, all the, all the, all the stuff. All because right. you calling somebody Molly the maid and you like, what? <laughs> A lot of them done coped and snorted here and there. You know, you ask the right person, they don't think snorting is bad. Uh, we don't mess with the drugs. But yeah, uh-uh. No, no, not the... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyhow, we just sit here and we just ramble. Up. But that's what happened. For happens. 40 minutes. That's what happened when you eat good old water burger. I'm going... I've been done, but them them bites is small, y'all, as you can see. And she really played with that burger. Yeah, because I got four. Shit. I was like, this little bitch going to get ate up in about an hour while I'm sitting here watching TV. She got her... I got to uh, watch my Chicago Inc. Black Inc. Chicago. And I just stopped watching that because to me, that's just so boring. That's just. I love it. See, I like Storyline. Don't oh, watch that, this and come That's for New me. York. Yeah. Okay, Black but, in New York. Sky, don't watch this and come for me, but you is just the epitome of Ratchet. Oh. <laughs> I can't. But, can, but could you imagine yourself coming up from nothing and being where she is right now? You get what I'm saying? Like, how do. Who, who teaches you? The transition from not having nothing. Because we literally saw her on the show still with nothing. Trying to still yeah. fake. Like she yeah, somewhat yeah. had it together. And wasn't it so messed up how they was actually. Okay you're appearing to have like you have money. But then they show you in your actual mm -hmm. apartment. 
That was, to me, that was. That's why Duchess that left. That was messed up. Well, that's why Duchess yeah. left the show. It's because Duchess said they tried her that one time when they came in her and C's house and they had, she had an air mattress on the floor. And she said they're going to show that like that's what they sleeping on. But yeah. in reality, they had family that came down. But everybody thought that they were doing that yeah. bad now she was like oh mm. she left that show and said she'll never because, come back because like when they showed when they showed sky in that apartment and i'm like you getting paid per show there's no way you should be living like that but the fact that they showed you in that environment i would have i would have left then. instantly yeah but yeah. See, see but you need the check yeah and to her that was probably an upgrade because she done been in shelter she done been sleeping on friends couches so you get what i'm saying but the one that got me and y'all we gonna we gonna wrap this up but what's cringeworthy is girl that time on love and hip-hop new york when they had carly b like she was in the bathtub had the suds around her and they went zoomed in grime and dirt all in the lines of the shower girl just just mold and matted up stuff. Mm, I said, see, they tried it. They didn't have to do her like that. Like, she all fabulous, you know, relaxing in the tub. And they zoomed in on that. Well, best friend actually did it. Kendra Kill, the one that do the Yes, oh, he tickles me. He zoomed grime, just dirt, just nasty. Why would like, they why would record her in there? But now... They put them in Airbnb, so I'm guessing yeah. now somebody had to say something. Yeah. Somebody had to put their foot down, which clearly, yeah. if they want to ride around, follow y'all all the damn time, they need to put you in some. Ain't no use yeah. of that. That would make, that's nasty. Yeah. Well, see, I love because, look, yeah, they're going to be like, damn, she do watch a lot of shows. Because did. I was going to say, with Love and Lock Up, even though I know that's a whole nother Love and lock up. If you can shoot in a house, they pay your rent for the duration of. So I can see somebody if there was an agreement. Yeah. You, I know it's dusty up in this view. You can come up. I don't want to pay well, my no. rent for. That's when you pay somebody to clean the but house if you don't want to clean. That's, bitch. that's true. But I just be thinking like sometimes people be really out here struggling and chew. That be like a come up to them trying to keep it all. Clean your house by yourself. It could <laughs> be, but shit, I'd be like, hey, I don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. They're just gonna be good. TV. And then then the world talk about how nasty you is. Mm -hmm. See? That, see, and but, that's how people really think. And then the world, everybody in the world gonna see the nasty grimy, but everybody love Carly yeah. B, so I guess it don't matter. And I was gonna matter. say, and it don't matter, because the views go up, then you start getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a trickle effect. It's like... Dang, it don't stop. Society ain't worth shit. Ain't worth nothing. That's where we at at this point. Yes. Because you do the most nastiest stuff, the most gross stuff, and that's where it go viral. Like that girl licking that darn ice cream on them blue bell. The girl that was going in Walmart's opening oh, up yeah. the ice. She went viral. And then people trickled and started, started doing, doing it. Then y'all started getting arrested. Yeah. Mm. How y'all feel now? Y'all out? But the fact like, that they got, do you, do you get what I'm saying? The fact yeah. that they numbers are so high now, they're probably getting paid off of some platform. Yeah, if they if they decide to go to YouTube, definitely getting paid. Shoot, they can just do it as what Instagram now because they they went viral on Instagram. So can you get paid off Instagram? Yeah. Since Be me. Love said she don't do nothing and she don't get monetized on. So, I, but you got people that like sponsors like. You get paid like that flat tummy T people. It's like it's oh, okay. like they get so, sponsored because so like, they say, views cause be. I know just ain't on the platform. You have to be at certain numbers, and then they start coming in and they pay oh, you. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Oh mm -hmm. well, then everybody's monetized if you got over twenty k on Instagram. Yeah. Then I don't know, but yeah, I'm halfway monetized. Well, so once you start yeah. getting on paychecks, first, start doing that. Do them endorsements. <laughs> oh yeah we i'm glad you said that because we will have one shout out to trav we're gonna have his urban decay beard butter he's gonna send it okay yeah. you got a man to put it on huh? you got a man to put it on it, it's oh yeah. you said beard beard butter yeah Okay. and i'm gonna put the link and stuff below so the man that's watching if you have a beard if you buy it we get paid for it. So, yeah. Y'all, if you got a beard, if you got a man that got a beard, you want to keep it nice and clean and have it smell good, Trav's Urban Decay Beard Butter. There we'll, you have it. We'll start having it. I have one so y'all can see. 
And yeah, I might give it to somebody so they can have it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to let somebody try it out because we wouldn't be able to yeah, tell y'all what it was. But yeah, mm -hmm. this it's different stuff that's trickling in. People are starting to see the momentum is building. So I don't want to cut off anybody. So if you got a product and you feel like we two black queens because he's a black king and he just hit me up. So if you feel like you want us to promote your product, Hit us up, Fat and Unfiltered Podcast. Maybe we can definitely help you out. But understand, this is a business. <laughs> this is definitely a business. Promotion is not free at all. I do want to put that out. Promotional offers are not free. You help us, we help you. Boom shakalaka. Okay. <laughs> I so, like that. Yeah, boom, boom shakalaka. Well, y'all. This was a long one. This was one. a long one. But if it's you like alive. It should have been. It yeah. almost felt like one for a few, like a minute that when we were going back and forth. With we might have to do a live because I feel like and people I think, would like that. And we should do it when we're talking about love and hip hop because I feel like yeah. that that energy was there. Because I was like, that, I was ready to get side eye. She was ready to say, it shut up. Yeah. And that's how we really do it. When we get in a real conversation. Yeah, yeah. You see, then that's why we got out of it and go yeah. to something. <laughs> yeah. But yes, yeah, it's, it's real. For real. And guys, if y'all like this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up. Up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Hey, hey, hey. And hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. I enjoyed you guys. I enjoyed you guys too. I'm full of the tick. Yes. Shout out to Water Burger. Yes. Yeah, so, on that note, peace. peace.